Hi, I'm Francis Morse, and I've been running the Daily Dose for the last few weeks. Today, however, my contribution is going to be a Daily Dose myself, and I'll be reading the end of Pith Pindar's Pythian Ode, number 8. Justice stands beside the sweet singing victory procession. I pray that the gods may regard your fortunes without envy, Xenoxes. For if anyone has noble achievements without long toil, to many he seems to be a skillful man among the foolish, arming his life with the resources of right counsel. But these things do not depend on men. It is a god who grants them, raising up one man and throwing down another. Enter the struggle with due measure. You have won a prize of honour at Megara, and in the Valley of Marathon, and at the local contest of Hera, you were dominant in action with three victories, Aristomenes. And you fell from above on the bodies of four opponents with grim intent. To them no cheerful homecoming was allotted, as it was to you at the Pythian festival. Nor when they returned to their mothers did sweet laughter awaken joy. They slink along the back streets, away from their enemies, bitten by misfortune. But he who has gained some fine new thing in his great opulence flies beyond hope on the wings of his manliness with ambitions that are greater than wealth. But the delight of mortals grows in a short time and then it falls to the ground, shaken by an adverse thought. Creatures of a day, what is someone? What is no one? Man is the dream of a shadow. For when the brilliance given by Zeus comes, a shining light is on man, and a gentle lifetime. Dear Mother Aegina, convey this city on her voyage of freedom, with the blessing of Zeus, and the ruler Aeacus, and Peleus, and good Telamon, and Achilles. Thank you.